So let's talk about uh, your product Zoe and the benefits of using it. Yeah, Zoe is our beneficial fungi. Now, what makes Zoe such an excellent product is that it's made specifically for fruits and vegetables. Now, what that means is that we focus and include higher amounts of the fast-acting mycorrhizae that you want to use in a container garden. And this also includes trichoderma. Now, what trichoderma does is protect the roots from any kind of pathogens. In addition to those, we also include amino acids. Amino acids are immediate food source for those mycorrhizae, which supercharge them and get them working and into your root zone and inoculated quickly and efficiently. What's one of the best ways to apply the zone? Zoe is always best applied directly to the root zone. So one great time to use it is during transplant. If you have your clone or your seedling that's popped roots and it's in a plug, you can directly dust that plug with the Zoe or you can apply the Zoe below where you're going to set that transplant on top of and then cover it with soil and water as usual. All you need is a quarter teaspoon. It's optimal to then re-inoculate the soil again about two weeks later. You can do that by mixing the Zoe quarter teaspoon per plant site again into your nutrient solution and using it as a drench on top. We don't recommend using it in recirculating systems as the mycorrhizae are live and they can cause pH fluctuation. However, Zoe only needs to be used twice throughout the entire growth cycle to really get the maximum benefits from using it. What would be the best times to use it? The best times to use it are when you're going from a plug or your small pot into your main flowering pot and then a bit then again about two weeks later into flower.